morning. I'm John Riley here for Northampton Community Television, and we're at the League of Women Voters annual book sale, and we're talking with Maggie Riddle. Maggie, how long have you been doing the book sale? I haven't been able to get the exact number, but we think it's over 60 years. Yeah. Now, um, have you been involved in this for uh, quite a few years yourself? Very many, yes. And can you tell me your name? I'm uh, Mary Lou Bully. Great. Now, can you tell me who the League of Women Voters is? Yeah, we're a 95-year-old organization that's nonpartisan, grassroots, and multi-issue. We study issues. We never support candidates. That's against our rules. Um, and we try to do candidates' forms. We try to register voters. We try to study issues. Right now, we're studying charter schools. We've studied child labor in the beginning. That's interesting. I didn't know that you did such specific things. Like yes, that. That's definitely. really, really neat to know. Now, do you get a large part of your funding from the book sale? This is it. This is the only this way is we that... raise money other than our Great. own dues. Great. Have, has the book sale been getting better for you in terms of fundraising? Because you seem to have more books every single year. <laughs> it's, it's like we, the, the blood water is open when we have the book sale and we start collecting books. Um, we, we, we started out real small outside. And that was hard because it rained sometimes, but now it's indoors, so yes, we have we, we, we price better, we get more publicity. Uh, the parking lot was amazing people today. <laughs> it's, it's just such a great sale. Has the internet uh, changed how you price books, or has it affected you at all in terms of what you're doing? Um, a little bit. Um, I'd say we're able to figure out if something might be valuable. Mm -hmm. That on the internet. I'm a librarian, so I can I know where to go to look and see what things are priced at. But yeah, we but we still try to keep it low key. We, we, the books are free to us. We're just happy. You get a lot of book dealers. You, you start early. You start we at do. eight o'clock, and the, the book dealers seem to really like it. Yeah, we get between thirty and forty. Uh -huh. to start the day, or just people who like books so much that we keep the. How many books do you think you'll sell by the end of the day? Um, I'd say we'll probably sell half of what we collected. So uh -huh. so in the thousands? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And then is it at 3, 4, 5 o'clock you start selling them by the bag or the book or by the Usually at 3 o'clock, yeah. but teachers come in and they can take them to their classrooms for free. Um, depending on how many books they have left, that, that's always how we decide what we're doing. You know, prices get cut at 3 or whatever, but by, we have to be done by 4, so... How long does it take to set up this room? Just uh, it was like an hour and fifteen minutes to set it up. Yes. No, I mean to move all the books in. The books yes. were on the stage. Oh my goodness! So you were ready to roll. Yeah. Yeah. How many people do you have helping you? Half the league, I would say. We have half the league. Okay. We have almost hundred members now. So we nice. Half do it for help in the yeah. That's great. Picking books up, setting up, cleaning up. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thanks for your time. It's really interesting to find out a little bit more about the League of Women Voters, and congratulations on such a great sale. I'll let you get back to work and um, making some money for your fundraising. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.